and uh, I don't know, you, you have to get a little bit of a gift from Na'Vi. You have to find a member that you can kill for free. And it has to be right now. There's 40 seconds left. So, I mean, he's going to have to get a kill, relocate, do more. There's one of them. Electronic was low. Oh, what a headshot coming out from Woxie. This is beautiful. Needs one more for the quad kill and the clutch. And that would be something perfecto. He's coming in from all the way on the other side. So, Woxie actually with a very, very good chance of doing this. He's going to close the door. Oh, no, it opens again. Might have wanted to play a bit of a game. He finds him. There's the quad and the clutch. Well done. That's so nice from Woxic. You could see, he. I think he saw Boomich's like hip or like maybe it was the diffuse kit on a shoulder peek at that corner. So when he kills that player electronic down below, that's a perfect reaction back to the corner for Boomich's peek. That is a uh, spectacular one versus three, but it's almost kind of sad and depressing that that's... That's one of the ways in which Mouse Sports is on the board, is it an incredible one versus three. Still, they, with the AWP, I, this looks like they're gonna go for it. This is this is weird. Kerrigan dropping a flashbang in. Here they go through the window. Simple right below it misses his chance. Frozen gets the first kill, but still, the kills aren't coming fast enough. It doesn't matter that they've made their way in. They're not actually progressing anywhere, and it's all Woxic. That AWP is gonna get lost, whether by an AK or by the bomb. It doesn't matter. Admirable attempt from Woxic, but he goes down anyways. Three to one for Navi. They did successfully lose all the P on the field. Two AKs, two Galils. But this is getting uh, this is getting rough. Woxic committed with the up. He's got the first and the second like a shotgun. Gonna peek wider into the bomb site on top of the train. Misses narrowly, and Golden goes down as well. And Woxic has made his presence known. Man, I just want to see this walk stick every single time. This is beautiful to watch. That, what an aggressive play. And surely this can't go bad now, but it can anyway. <laughs> uh, what? Flusher gets the kill on Chris. They just had it. They just had a four on two, and it spun around in a second. He misses the chance through, but they could find him. They could go and find him at the E-Box. Woxic wants to continue. He's already got the four kills, and Flusher will take him down. <laughs> this is a stupid round. What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> Again, it was all now sports all the way until it wasn't. I cannot believe that. First of all, Crims has some fine work, some fine shooting at the back. They set up a good flashbang for Kicker. There it is. They line up against the wall, and it could have been a double spray down. No doubt about it, but not quite going to happen. So another attempt with the flashbangs. They bunch oh, up, no. and Sanji will connect. That was about a second away from being a disaster. It looked like he was about to fail that whole move, and the Molotov goes into the smoke. Nice flick from Woxic, and it's Niggle back to finish the round. It's all right, though. Mouse Sports got four players down, even in that loss. I, I really like the defense. That's Those are the kind of proactive decisions we don't know, we haven't normally seen out of BP throughout this event. Having someone rotate over to Catwalk, toss the flashbangs out, and then Sanji off the information. He knows there's two more stuck along the wall. He pushes to the bomb site, gets another follow-up pop flash. And, and a big chance all of a sudden for Mouse Sports to really cement this first half. Oh, peeking right in. I think he wanted the shoulder peek that, but device rock steady, not showing himself and not firing that gun too early. And now Woxic in a one versus two. Could he do this? No kills in the round yet. He's going to miss a shot there oh, and no. actually bounces into the bank. And that's a bit awkward. Three seconds on the defuse and a nice shot. One second. Oh! oh! What a play coming out! That is magnificent. I. After all the shots he missed, for him to get those two right at the end, that is phenomenal work from Woxic. I cannot believe it. Everything going wrong for Astralis. That retake looked rock solid. Mouse Sports almost gave up a round where they had such a massive advantage. This is a beautiful two versus two for Magus and Device, but a better one versus two from Woxic. And that had to have been right at the last moment. Oh, I'm not laughing at Sonny, but some of the uh, reactions. And he's unable to find anything, but Frozen does take one down. It's just left up to Rops and Woxic here in this 2v3. And, oh, Woxic is on the flank right now, but with Rops dying that quickly, his position will surely be discovered. Can he find it, though? He will be able to find one, and the Diffuser, actually. It's just Golden in the 1v1 against him, and Woxic is playing the time, but Golden, he's sticking the bomb, and Woxic is able to find the frag. A 1v3 from Woxic there, a huge pistol round victory for Mouse Sports. Wow, that's... That feels like a yikes right there. That's, oh, no. <laughs> that's not good. You had three people looking the, almost the same way or something. Yeah, yeah, that's the crazy thing, right? There's, if you look at the, the positioning, what what is... 
are you guys looking Krim's at, looking buddies? At. I mean, I guess they expected him for some reason to come from CT. Maybe there was a miss call. That's, I guess that's possible, but... But yeah, that, that he just flew, flew under the radar there. And again, it's like hard to see, know what the reason for that was. But that's not yeah, the the wrong order, you know. Yeah, that was that was a whole thing. That's a whole thing. We get into it. The rush towards middle. Voxic with a big a big spray down there. That's what you like to see. And now, oh, it's the aces. Wow, I got back just in time. It was a full eco, but still, that was uh, a tremendous display of skill for the two. And uh, surely the buy available for OG now. The full eco, not the best. Didn't get any kills, but uh, a good round. It's a quick round, that's what they can say. Beautiful stuff there. So this is where we get into the meat and potatoes of the game. Uh, we're able to stabilize right now. Mousewatts will have a couple of buys going forward. And OG, now that they're on the board and max loss bonus is looming, will be able to continue to look. Had to give up the B site. Hold up a second. Mantu's taken down Chris J. I would still give the advantage towards Mousewatts here. Even though it's a three versus two, it's just the positioning of OG right now. It's been very difficult to make this one work. Foxing, one of the quickest oh! players in the game right now. That's the shot we are looking for. One versus one, MBK, the old master, up against Voxic here. It looks like he's done enough. There is a kill available, but MBK starts to creep forward, and it's the Glock, and no! it's enough! One what? bullet, and it connects the audacity of this man. He pulls it off. He keeps mouse sports in it. 12 to 11. My goodness gracious me, how has he done that? I couldn't break a bloody China pot with a Glock and he's just gone 43 damage, one bullet to the head of MBK and taken him out of the equation in a one-on-three situation to keep Mouse oh Sports in it. They need one more round to take this to overtime and maybe that rule set I was so skittish about before I'll have to explain once more, but... Holy moly, we've had some sick clutches today, Henry, and add that one to the list. Yeah, I feel like MR12 encourages these clutches, you know? We've seen a lot more of them today. It feels like you have